Hey everyone, it's 10 Types, and today I'm playing Iron Thorns EX because, because I don't know, I just decided that, I'll, you know, last time, uh, I think yesterday's video, I played a pretty exciting deck, in, or what I consider an exciting deck in Uxie Frostlass, where, you know, it's a fun spread deck, a, like, rogue deck, kind of, it's a single prize deck, pretty <clears throat> pretty solid, and with some new cards, I figured I'd go back to a bit of an older deck here with Iron Thorns EX, no new cards in it. The only new card um, that that's not what I want to do. The only new card that I think you could consider is and I haven't looked through all the new cards to like know exactly what I want, but the one I could see in the deck would be counter. Where is it? Counter gain. I think that could be okay here. Ultimately, the other ones. I mean, you could play a Chilty as a toy. That seems kind of sketchy, but could be good. And yeah, that's about it. The other cards seem pretty lackluster. Even some like Clumman's quick, quick, quick Wit probably will not be doing much of anything in this deck, but I don't know. Maybe you could play Gravity Mountain. I haven't really thought through the math there. It might have some value, but regardless, we're just going to hop into a game in or two and see how it goes. Iron Thorns EX is a pretty good ladder climbing deck, I think, because of its simplicity and... Yeah, really most of its simplicity, and it's a pretty good deck as well, at least it was. I don't know exactly how good it is now. Something like Stereo Edge EX is definitely a deck that is pretty popular right now, though I don't see it all the time on the ladder. I see it some, but only only a little bit, to be honest. But that would be bad, because they don't really use abilities too much. They use them some, but they can certainly get by without them. And then you have... Uh, you know, different decks can beat you, like Region of Logger Pond's a deck I see all the time, and it can beat you, but not always, right? You do have the counter, and Thorns GX turning off abilities of Rulebox Pokemon in play, and both ours and our opponents, and also, it's all of them, except for future cards, but those aren't that many. And we are up against Mirai, no, what? We are up against Pikachu EX, it looks like. They have an ability, but that doesn't really matter because it's never going to come into play with us. It stops us from one-shotting him, but that's not happening. Maybe this isn't... Um, that. What's the attack cost of Galvantula? I don't I don't know exactly what this is. Maybe this is Pikachu EX with, like, just Joltek or something. Regardless, I'll attach double turbo. I'll play down this Iron Thorn GX, and I'll just pass it over to my opponent see what they got going on here. Jolting Charge is a really good attack. I haven't really seen it used very much. I've seen it... I mean, I've played it in Galvantula. I don't really know the last time I've seen Galvantula EX. And then it gets two lightning and two uh, grass. So presumably they're playing it here. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> that card took a second to load. But presumably they're playing it here for Pikachu EX. And we'll see exactly what else they're playing. They got the Pikachu EX sleeves. And Pikachu EX is, like, pretty... S it's okay. I mean, it's not a terrible card. It's not a great card either. I wonder what they're going to get, though. I imagine they're going to get a Pikachu EX or two. Maybe a Magnemite. Maybe a... Another Jolt. I don't know if they're attacking the Galvantula EX either. That's definitely something that's a little scary, but they're not doing that much. I mean, they are playing Arvin. They could be playing Vitality Band, but not necessarily. There's a good chance they're not either, because I believe Galvantula EX is going to be hitting 110. They got Radiant Greninja. What? I don't know why they got that. Um, But they got... Maybe they're going to, like, cancel one? I don't know. I still probably wouldn't play that. But they got Pikachu EX and two Pikachu EXs and two Magnemites, which is, I guess, I guess they'll probably pop one. Like, popping two seems kind of sketchy. But I guess if you are applying pressure, then it doesn't matter too much. But this is going to be really interesting. The Power... What's it called? Is it Power Glass? Yeah, Power Glass is a really interesting... Wow, their deck is really blinked out. Uh, it's a pretty interesting tool that allows you to go ahead and like keep accelerating energies we'll see where these energies are going if they're all going on one pokemon or if they're not i'm not sure to be honest but you know maybe they don't have all the energies in deck they probably do but you never know you never know this is definitely seeming this is a pretty interesting deck that they're playing here and honestly like the fact they're playing iron thorns we're not really hurting them that much so this probably isn't going to go is it super well but we are shutting down some of their things like the writing greninja and, okay, that is all going on the same Pikachu EX. They're going to start powering that up. Hopefully we get a Gust. That'd be really good. Okay, we got Enhanced Hammer. That's not what we're looking for. Okay, well, Crushing Hammer, though. And it doesn't do anything. Okay. Well, at least we got the Knockout here. I will Lost City, because why not? It doesn't matter. And we get these cards, which are... They're, they're okay. I could Thin. 
I don't know if I have another Iron Thorns GX. Hopefully I do. I'll just assume I do. Watch as I don't as prize. No, we got it. Nice. So we don't really ever need a fourth one. And we'll just Volt Cyclone. Send the double turbo to the bench, I suppose. And take the first prize, which is good, especially with the Magnemite and the, the Magnetons, I should say. Let's see future booster engine capsule small, which is kind of good. But boss orders is, 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 I guess, the main card we're looking for right now. Only we'll to stream energy attachments to the best of our abilities. And I think we'll be able to do that. And if we get hand disruptor, like our hand isn't that good, anyways. We're going to see a magneton hit the board, which they could use after this. We're going to see a crispin as well, putting even more energy. Wow, they'd actually really blinked out here. Um, but yeah, they're going to attach some more energies or one more energy, presumably. Um, Let's see if they actually are able to do that. Again, they could run their deck out of energy at some point. They probably will if they keep crispening. Oh, wow, they... Wait. What? No, how does crispin... Oh, okay. Crispin isn't... You know, it's <laughs> among the list of cards that um, don't work in live. It's just your deck for two energies to reveal them, and obviously that didn't happen. They, okay, they do have the canceling clone. They are going to go ahead and raiding Greninja. It's interesting that they went for it. I guess their hand was not good, and so they figured it was worth it. Um... Canceling Clone is also interesting. Like, what exactly is it here for? Maybe Mimic you? I'm not sure. They are also grabbing a boss, which is, yet again, kind of interesting. We are going to have to two-shot them. This is going to be difficult, but hopefully winnable. We'll see. We'll see. But they have a lot of energies on this Pikachu EX, and they're just going to keep stacking up here. I'm honestly kind of surprised they didn't. Well, I guess they don't need an extra energies on active. You're going to discard probably like one of each or something. Get back a metal. So we just got to gotta swing in here. And they do take two prizes. They probably have this one. Honestly, I don't know if this is really winnable for us. But, you know, I'll, I'll stick it out. See how this goes. If there is something that could allow us to win this, I could Arvin here. I actually like that. I don't think I can clone. I guess I'll take... Future Booster Energy. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't matter what tool I take, does it? But I could go crush, I could go Lost Vacuum and get rid of, of course, their tool there. I, I don't hate that. Getting rid of the tool is nice because now they don't have, as, uh, don't have as much energy as they want. But I guess they're really only looking to attack once more here. I'll, I'll go get rid of their tool, though. That, that could be good. I could try to trap them as well. That might be the play, but that seems pretty risky. They're down eight energies, which is not that many in Magneton. That can attach only to Lightning Pokemon, so I could try to guess the Raining Greninja. But as I said, that seems pretty risky. So I'll just go ahead and lost in their tool. And they will go after this bench Pikachu EX at some point as well. But I'll just Volt Cyclone. Oh, I could have attached energy, I guess I... Or not energy, I could have attached a tool. I guess I should have done both of those. We're not going to team turbo energize and we could just have thinned there. But honestly, <laughs> this is a deck where we don't do that much. They're going to just play a stadium again, just to thin. Gravity Mountain is a pretty good stadium within the deck because it allows you to go ahead and one shot something like Charger DX or Dragapult DX, but also, okay, they're going to boss knock out our Iron Thorn DX in the bench. Does this really matter? No. I don't know what we do here. I guess they can Magneton no matter what. So maybe we go after the Magneton. How much health does it have? Does 100. Yeah, okay. So I'll go after that. I think that's our only option here. And we have an Arvin, which could be useful down the line, but I'll just boss right now. We are going to have this double turbo kind of stuck on forever, but not that bad. Oh, live is the English with the discard as well, but... Anyways, we'll just go ahead, take the knockout here, and now they're going to need a Magneton to be able to attack next turn, which they might have. It's not certainly crazy that they'd have it, but, you know, maybe we're able to, we'll be able to clutch this one out. Probably not, but I think that was our best play. I guess the Lost Vacuum wasn't super good, now that I think about it. It was okay, but they'd have one energy on this Pikachu EX, yeah, then one on this one as well, so... Probably wouldn't have mattered too much there. Oh, no, they might have had two on. Yeah, I think they would have had two on this Pikachu EX, actually. I don't remember, to be honest, though. Um, but we do want to get rid of energies. They're going to Arvin for 
probably another power glass to be honest so i think they have this one even if we just like swing to their active but and now let's see they're getting what a magneton i think is now would be the time to gust raining greninja to see if they have um you know any energy there's a chance they don't have any left so that's probably our only shot Oh, wait, no, never mind. They just Magneton. I, I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking they Magneton next turn. So they do have game here. And we probably wouldn't have been able to trap the Raiding Peninja. Uh, okay, for some reason, I thought they had extra energies in play, slash in the discard. They only had six. I thought they had eight. I probably just, I guess I just miscounted. Unfortunately, it didn't end up. Oh, I don't know if it's unfortunate or fortunate here. But we didn't end up getting this one. And they do end up getting the win. Does it make them accelerate their energy? No, okay. Um, so they do take the prizes there. It's not really a matchup where we're doing much of anything. It's obviously we're playing a counter deck, and we weren't really countering any of the things they had. I mean, they do kind of like their ability, but on Pikachu BX, but it doesn't actually matter because, you know, it doesn't come into play. Stops one shot, but we're not one shotting. And we do stop reading Queen and Chambi, Pheasant up to EX, or Squawky Willy EX, but. Those are only just, like, okay cards, but in terms of main attackers and how to get energy on and stuff, we're not stopping any of that. Let's see what we play against next game, though. What we're looking at is Charizard DX, something like Regional Ogre Pond's okay. Honestly, there are a lot of decks that do rely on abilities. The newer decks don't as much, but they still aren't necessarily in a great position to be able to deal with the Iron Throne DX. Even something like Trap Ghost Dust, and that's not, like, a brand new deck, but it's a... Uh, on the newer end is a deck. I mean, it came out since, uh, of course, Iron Thorns X won the World Championship. So, unfortunately, we can't keep this hand up. Otherwise, we'll be able to, like, remove all our opponent's energies. We're going second, which is not that bad. We show uh, them exactly what we're playing, but whatever. It doesn't matter too much. This hand is... Okay, you know, if we hit Arvin off of Poke here, it's pretty good. They start Mew EX. That's good for us. They could be playing Maridon, which would be... I don't think they're playing Maridon, though. If they're playing Maridon, they would choose to go second. And if they're playing, like, Raging Bolt, Ogre Pond, they choose to go second. Okay, wait, what is this? Water... Palkia? I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not super familiar with the Water decks in standard right now. But let's go ahead, get rid of... Do we need Lost City? I don't think we need Lost... No, wait... This could be my Lodic. I don't think it's my Lodic, though. I'll get rid of Lost City. Surely we're not going to get punished for this, right? Anyways, let's poke here. We see Penny. That's certainly not what we want to play right now. We see Colossus Tenacity. I don't... I mean, I guess we go for that. We can go ahead and play it to get Double Turbo Lost City. And just attach the Double Turbo. Chuck down the Lost City. And pass it over. I guess if we need Lost City, like... We have we have a few. It's not like canceling clone. It's I mean it's meant to be played with canceling clone to get rid of like Mimikyu or whatever. We're getting Ionode. Okay, we'll see what they're playing now though at the very least. And our hand wasn't very good, right? So it's I mean we had good gust, but we didn't have and we had some energies. Okay, they're gonna Artizone here. They're gonna grab Execute. We're against Alolan to get Executor EX. What on earth? Uh, this is. I don't know if this is a good matchup. I mean, we're not really shutting them down, but also, like, the deck isn't very good. I mean, I don't know exactly how good it is, but it doesn't seem that good. But they also can one-shot us, guaranteed. Well, I guess if we only have one Pokemon, it's a coin flip whether they one-shot us. But I don't want to be a coin flip away from just, like, losing the game. So, and I assume they can attack if we don't have a bench Pokemon. Okay, I don't need... That there, but I'll close it to Nasty. Just grab out of the deck, I guess. Lost City and not that and this. Okay. Then they'll just swing for 150. Honestly, we could get Iono again, so I could just play the Iron Thorn GX. I'll chuck down the Iron Thorn GX. Also, we're two, we're three shotting. Uh, let's get that Stadium out of there. And I guess it doesn't matter if we use it or not. So just Volt Cyclone here. And obviously move the double turbo benched. 
right now this is this is actually like super boring i don't really you know commentating i'm usually saying like the interesting things that are going on i guess i could talk about their deck alone executor swinging yes swinging for 150 and accelerating a bunch of energies from hand they're going to crispin and i get oh, i guess i'm getting knocked out that is not great okay well also they really need to change i mean christmas animation isn't like that bad but also it's like kind of confusing and kind of like wrong oh like, yeah it's not just like confusing it's, it's kind of wrong so hopefully they do end up you know changing some things about it obviously there are other things that need uh, addressing before then but i do go and snipe my oh and that gets into loss of snipe iron thorns on the bench but honestly if we three shot here which is what we're going to do presumably then we could be in an okay position i will poke gear for iono i think i won't take that like i don't really you know i i don't really think their hand is that good so i'll research send it hopefully get a pokemon we do not i guess i can chuck this down and now coin flip time oh i could have attached the tool i'm not sure if it yeah i probably should have done that it doesn't really matter though to be honest but let's see i guess it's coin flip time they could tropical frenzy guarantee get the win or guarantee get the knockout in two turns there are some risks associated with that, and that's probably not what I do, though. But Team Devo on it, like, obviously Team Devo would be good here. And Team Devo could be good in the deck, but a lot of the things that you are... Okay, they are going to go for the Tropical Frenzy. Are they going to accelerate a bunch of energies? They are. They're going to accelerate some energies to Mew EX on the bench, which is pretty interesting. Not really what I was... Like, that. that's a, that's an interesting play there. So, I'll Arvin or Techno Raider, of course... Unfortunately, no crushing hammers here, but I'll take TM Turbo Energize, I suppose, and probably just... No, I'll, I'll take Future Boost Energy Capsule, just discard it. Um, Yeah, that, that's, that's probably fine. Patch Energy to the bench, all that good stuff. So, I'll grab out a couple of Iron Thorns as well. Probably will end up playing them down. And attach this here. Attach this here and we don't need like having a double turbo sometimes having a double turbo in play is bad but it's not that bad here so we take the knockout on their only alone executor they can instantly evolve with the attack on the execute which is pretty solid it's not like super broken or insane but it is a good thing they're going to grab their knockout here oh maybe i shouldn't have played those iron thorns now that i think about it because then they guarantee have a game with lone executor he actually second attack how bad is that I, I don't know i feel like they can't have that many crispins maybe they do just run a bunch of crispins though I, I don't i don't really know i don't know how much energy they play either they are going to super add back in all their energy it looks like though but you know if they have a crispin here and they what is it precocious evolution oh they're gonna get wait they're playing monkey dory i wasn't even paying attention to that that is some interesting energy typing having four types of water fighting crass darkness but you know we can We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. Hopefully. Maybe not. UEX obviously can't restart either. It's just going to copy our attack. It will move Andrew to the bench, which is probably bad for us. We're going to Crispin. So if I were them, i just alone Executor EX here. I think that's the play that I'd make. We'll see if that's what they decide to do. Obviously, they're going to get energy on, on the bench Pokemon. But I don't know. I mean... Or no, not alone executor. I would just um, I would precocious evolution. But they didn't do that. They are going to move energy to the bench as well. And so now we'll just have to swing into them. I think we could actually gust. I think I gust here. Well, I don't know if I gust because I don't know if I can gust. Drawing an energy would also be super nice. We could geomise charisma. We can't. So I'll catch her. And we do bring up the bench Pokemon. That's obviously quite nice. So we can get the knockout there. I'll crushing hammer. And hopefully get rid of one off of them. UEX, we don't. Um, Judge feels pretty mediocre. So I'll Arvin again. Get another crushing hammer and grab Team Turbo Energize. Yeah, the rest of these cards are pretty lackluster. So we'll just take the singular prize here. But if we get heads, we're in a really good position. We don't. Okay, that's, that's awkward. And also we don't have energy in play to attack next turn i felt like this was a fair play not not 100 sure though 
but we are going to loss zone another execute as well. So I don't know how many pl they play. I don't exactly know what they're, they're rocking here. You could be rocking a lot of different things because they can accelerate lots of energies. I've only seen a lone executor EX within their attaching rigid band to their UEX. What? Okay. Um, and then wait, what were their supporters? I guess you'd never Iano in that position, but yeah, and I guess their hand was really bad too. So researching there probably was their, their only option, but they did lose some pretty solid supporters. And I, I could have even seen an Iono, but they're just going to attack a genome hacking us. And we, we don't have Penny, right? Oh, no, we, we do have Penny, but we don't have it in hand, obviously. So hopefully we top deck it. We do not. Okay. I could Arvin or I could Judge. I think I'll Judge here. You could find his Charisma. That seems terrible. I don't know if I have energy out in the deck, to be honest, but I'll judge. I do want to shrink their hand. I think this is okay. I mean, I don't know. It's a bit of a sketchy play, but it's the one we're making. Okay. We we did not get... Oh, no. But no, we have, we have energy lotto. Nice. Okay. So we're able to attack now. And the uh, the tool attach is just not doing anything. That's probably their down arrow. I, I don't actually know. Hopefully, they don't have gust. They did just get rid of only one boss. They probably have a good few left in deck, but... If we're able to get the knockout, then hopefully we'll be able to finish this one out. They're going to genome hacking again and hit into us with Volt Cyclone if they have Gust. They just have game. If not, then they're in a very like tense situation right now without a ton of stuff going on. We will have to take out the BUEX really no matter what. And might have a long executor EX in hand. But hopefully they don't. We uh, don't have hammers. We can gust, but, you know, gusting isn't really in... Is gusting an option? Is it like more likely that they have energy or they have the evolution? I think it's more likely that they have energies because they might play a bunch of Crispins. And I don't think they play that much search. I'm not sure. They probably play... They might play four Ultra Balls. I'm, I'm not really sure. And they... They're down four energies. I feel like they play more. I mean, they definitely play darkness. So I'll just go ahead. Oh, wait, I need to retreat. Um, I, I will go ahead and knock out their active. And hopefully we win. Obviously, this is pretty close. If they evolve, obviously, they win. And if not, then presumably we win. So we've been able to loss zone a bunch of their executes, but not all of them, obviously. And we have not gotten Crushing Hammer says If we had, I think we would have been in a pretty insane position and i think we would have like guaranteed win they're just gonna evolve oh wait okay so we need to hit heads on crushing hammers okay and i guess we get rid of the water do we have another crushing hammer we do oh we have penny okay penny could be good to buy us a diet. penny's not really doing much though is it and we flip tails on crushing hammers as well okay penny just buys us one turn it's not like we're attacking the pokemon or pennying and they have game guaranteed with just an attack. But I'm, I'm going to research. I think we need to get a Crushing Hammer's heads. We don't hit Hammer's. No. Okay, well, less than a day. Crushing Hammer's is not is not clutch. Not not usually. So, didn't quite end up winning this one here. We were close. We were very, very close. But obviously, you know, a little bit short. Alone Executor EX is very tanky as well. But... You know, this isn't any insane deck. Okay, well, you, you have it. Uh, wh wh whatever. Um, hopefully, they'll they'll end this quickly. I guess they get to, to swinging between... Uh, what, what is that? Is that a rock? A I guess it has to be. Obviously, they could have just tropical frenzied. But they do end up knocking out. What is that? Are active, I think. And getting... They got, they got the dub here. Less than a day. Crushing hammers isn't good when you flip tails all the time. But but we, we, we knew that, didn't we? And uh, we end up with a bunch of Pokemon in the Lost Zone. Very, very sad. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider liking and subscribing, hitting the bell. Maybe not playing this deck because it's annoying. Or maybe play it because it is good, I guess. It's good against certain decks. The first deck we saw was... Honestly, those were like two weird decks. So uh, I'm surprised. But, you know, normally I'm seeing like Raging Bull like every game. But today was different. But I hope you enjoyed as I said, consider liking, subscribing, hitting the bell, joining the channel, all that good stuff. And as always, I'm excited to see you in the next video.